Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about adding price filter on shop page. So let's see how can we add price filter on shop page. Uh, for adding price filter, uh, let's use the no UI slider. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's add the no UI slider CDN to the, our project. So for that, uh, go to the new tab and uh, just open google.com and here search no UI slider CDN okay and now just click on this first link and here you can see uh, no UI slider min.js CDN and uh, no UI slider min.css CDN okay now let's copy this CSS and JS CDN so I'm just going to copy this uh, CSS first so just click on this link and uh, switch to the project and open the layout file so for that just go inside the resources directory then views layouts and from here just open base.play.php file and inside the head uh, after this link just paste here the CSS CDN for the no UI slider okay no UI slider dot main dot CSS CDN. Now let's copy the JS CDN. So just click on this link and uh, inside the base layout file, uh, go to the bottom and uh, after this script, just paste here. All right. And now save this file. Okay. Now just close this. Now open the soft component view file. So uh, and from the resources directory, views, uh, live wire, and uh, you can see here this is the soft-component.blade.php file. So just open this file, and inside this file, uh, let's find the price filter visit. Uh, you can see here on the soft page, this is the price visit. Okay. So inside this blade file, soft-component.blade.php file. Uh, let's find the price visit and you can see here this is the price visit okay you can see here all right uh, from this price visit uh, just remove all contain okay uh, from this div so just remove this uh, this div and also remove this p tag okay and now here uh, let's add here a div and just add here the class slider okay and uh, close this and also add here wire colon ignore all right And on the bottom, after this main tag, main coaching tag, just add here post directive post and add here the name script and just close here the end post. All right, and now add here the script tag. And inside this script tag, uh, let's configure. Uh, no UI slider so for that just write here where slider is equal to document dot get element by id and here uh, let's pass the slider id which is this one uh, this div id add here the id not class okay and now just copy this slider id and uh, paste here all right and now write here no for ui slider is equal to oh, sorry dot create dot create and inside this uh, first pass this slider and then write your comma 
inside the bracket. Uh, set here the option. First, set the start option. Start. Add the starting value. Uh, minimum value one and maximum one thousand. Okay. And another option is connect to range mean colon one mean value one and max value one thousand. Okay. And after this, add here the pipe. mode colon the step all right and uh, step colon two then add the density density four All right now save this and let's check the slider uh, price slider okay so just to the browser and just refresh the page and now you can see here the price slider okay initial value one and maximum value one thousand okay now let's uh, make working this uh, price slider so for that switch to the project and just uh, go to the just open the soft component class file so from the app directory app http live wire uh, then uh, from here just open soft component .php file all right and inside this file let's create two properties so first property which is mean price minimum value minimum price and another property which is max max underscore price all right and inside the life life cycle mount hook method uh, hook method uh, inside this mount method let's put the default value inside the min price and max price so for that just write here dollar this Hello, mean underscore price is equal to one and dollar this arrow max underscore price is equal to one thousand. All right, okay, and now, uh, and now go to the uh, blade uh, top component of blade PHP file and then. Uh, inside this file inside this script after this let's handle the no ui slider update event so for that just write here a slider dot no ui slider and add here on and event update and add here the callback function value All right, and now set the value inside the property. Okay, this property, uh, mean price and max pro price property. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. So for storing the value inside the property, just write here at eight dollar this set, and pass here the property name. So the property name is in underscore price and uh, Pass here the value of zero index. Okay, your value is uh, which contains two value, minimum price and maximum price. Okay, while uh, fetching the zero index for the minimum price. Okay, and for the max price, dollar this of state and add here the property name max underscore price value. And first index okay in second value 
All right. Now save this. And uh, inside the price visit, uh, that this is to tag. After this price, you must add here a span tag. A span and uh, add here the class text that has info. And inside this, uh, let's display the minimum value and maximum value. Okay, Mix minimum price and maximum price. So for that, just write here the double curly bracket in dollar mean underscore price for the minimum price, and also add here the dash dollar max price max underscore price. Okay. All right, and also add here the dollar before the price. And also add here the dollar sign. All right, now save this. And now let's check again. So switch to the browser and refresh the page. And you can see here the price default value, minimum value one and maximum 1000. And if I decrease the slider, change the slider, you can see here the value has been changed. Okay, this is the maximum, and you can change also the minimum. All right, you can see here the price. All right, and now let's apply this price filter on this product. Okay, so for that, inside the sub component class file, let's go inside the render method and Inside the render method, uh, let's add here where vitamin clause. Okay, where vitamin and add here the column name uh, regular price, regular underscore price, and add here the array and pass uh, inside this array. Just pass here uh, this arrow mean underscore price comma dollar this arrow max underscore price okay and also add here the arrow sign all right and now just copy this uh, from here to here and uh, paste here also paste inside this okay and also paste here all right now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and uh, let's refresh the page all right now let's change the price range so i'm just going to uh, decrease the maximum value maximum price uh, let's say maximum price is 207 uh, $194 okay and you can see here the products which are between uh, which the price are between this range okay this range $1 to $194.60 okay if I increase the price you can see here the more product okay you can see here the more product and if I change the lower limit lower price uh, just increase the maximum price and increase the lower price okay you can see here the product according to this price range all right uh, let's change this price slider and there, are, there is no any product in this price range change the minimum value you can see here Okay, only one product in this price range. Okay, you can see here the product according to the price range. Okay, so in this way you can add price filter on soft page. So that's all about adding price filter on soft page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.